All right. Good morning, everybody. We're going to try something different today. Having a little trouble live streaming to Facebook, so we're just going to record the video and probably just upload it to YouTube instead. Um, so, hey, YouTube. Woohoo! Um, today we are going to be making a, a merhorse, a hippocampus. Um, and we're going to start with a base horse model because I don't really see the point in, um, I don't know, reinventing the wheel. Um, so we got the Daz horse in a zero pose. So let's bring that in. I think that'll give us a good starting point. Um, maybe it cuts my street credibility, but I'm one of those people that believes in reference and using what I got. So I have this, it's legal, let's use it. Got 85 just to give us some room. Maybe 80, I wanna give us a bit more room. Single layer, I wanna have room for the tail. Um, looks good, let's up res it. Well, upsize it because it's made it really small. Yeah, see, it made it like one percent size. There we go. Okay. Um, a little bit of erroring up here, but not bad. We can definitely use this. This will work well for us. Let's just go back to actions. And well, first let's go back to that. So I don't have to see it anymore. Actions. What's our layer size? We're reasonably good. We can add a tail to here, so that's okay. Um, I think I'm gonna try something just to, for the funsies of it. There. Now I know how far I can go on a silly tail layer. But now I know what my my far this point is back there. Okay, let's save as. Um, clear, 1905, 14, Hippocamp, I should just call it a merhorse, Hippocampus 1. Alrighty, so now we have a choice. We can either also import, like, a dolphin and merge them together, or just warp the sucker on our own. I think we're just going to warp it on our own. I think it's going to be better. Um, just to make my life easier, I'm going to get rid of the tail. Because I'm going to have to do something with that. And go to the move tool. Make it a little bit higher in a radius. Like that. I'm literally just making a mess here. Um, yeah, no, it's not right. Let's kill it in a some more. This is going to look really probably pretty bad until it gets posed because it's going to feel very straight and. Oh, oh, did I not turn? Okay, we gotta fix all this first. Back, back. Okay, we'll delete that. I gotta turn on the mirror tool first. Let's see if we can't. Yeah, I wanna keep. Uh, I'm gonna kind of be about that long. Why is it not mirroring? Oh, because it's not centered. All right, why is it not centered? Fancy. There we go. Now it's centered. Now, if we do this, we get something cool. And delete it. It's... I'm gonna go back and I really did like that idea, so I'm gonna. There's my end point. <laughs> Just so a no. Um, right. then get rid of those feet, and I think we're going to take this, and that. 
kind of whale-esque at this point. I don't, I'm not really bent out of shape about making it a particular kind of mer animal either, just to be clear. Kind of want it to be its own thing. Um, I do like that. Maybe a bit more of a bump there. And I kind of like that a bit more. There we go. It's got like a real tail. It's going to need some fins. I'm thinking here, roughly where a horse fin would be. Let's put those there for marking it right now. And I think I want to narrow that in and up and in. So it just feels more graceful, like a tail. Quite that much though. Like that. Something like that. And push just that in. Smooth it down a bit. Okay. So now I'm okay with that. Let's just delete these. I just wanted to make sure I didn't go too far. Let's say it goes smooth. And smooth this sucker in. Woohoo! Instant horse. No, we're nowhere near done yet. Um, we could be, but I don't think we are. Why are we not? We should be lined up. Is it angled too? Is it rotate? Fuck. Fuck! Okay, it's going to make my tail off the whole time too. Damn it. But. Um, Okay with that. Let's just redo it. It's gonna make it easier. Symmetry is just gonna make our lives easier. So I'll come back to here where it's pretty close. And there we go. Okay, so now it's symmetrical. Even if it's got a little bit of wonk, it's somewhere up in the front area. It's probably not too bad. Create that. Just gonna use the move tool. Nothing wrong with having to redo something again. It's no big deal. It's really important to me when doing these to really enjoy the process because that's the part that's gonna stick with you later anyway. Um, anyway. Loving the results is cool. You want to love your results, but more than that, you really probably want to love the process. Because this is going to take your life. And if you don't, if you don't love it, um, it's going to be a pretty sad life. It's a lot of time and a lot of self-doubt and a lot of tears, frankly. Um, not an easy job. So, um, you know, I hope you do this stuff way more of a sense of the process and the fun you have just making things than um, kind of wanted to flatten it down a little bit, although it doesn't matter. But it kind of wanted to zero pose. Um, yeah. You will be very unhappy probably if you spend your focus is on um, finished results. Um, yeah, it's even. Okay, those are even now. Okay. So let's go through and now we can clean this up here. Those eyes are garbage. So we're just going to do that. And then we'll smooth this down. And those ears are going to need to be fixed. But I don't really want it to be a, a real horse <clears throat> in the front for too long. I'm going to nuke the hooves too. Um, 
so that's fine. I kind of wanted to start from a horse. But I don't really need it to be a horse. I'm just going to see what we can do to make it interesting. And I know it's neck just a bit. It's just personal taste here. Um, okay. Let's give it some new eyes. Um, we'll make layer one the eyes. Might as well. Actions increase the res. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. It doesn't need to be that small, but you know, hey. And let's just go with black so we can see. Okay, I find that's really helpful. Uh, no, I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to give him some. It's not, again, I'm not really trying to match what a horse is. I saw it would look like. I uh, kind of I like that angry look. Let's make it a little less angry. Mm -hmm. And we've extended the this here. Probably means we want to fill this up. Go back to white. Just had some. Smooth. All right. Now, let's start quantifying it. Um, first thing we need to give it is a main. And I think we're going to go look to scout and see what we can find. That's just cool. We're going to use that for sure. Maybe not as a main though, but um, maybe as hooves could be cool. Let's go to single. Quite, I don't quite like how that lined up. Like that. That's better. Um, yeah, we're on smooth, right? Let's smooth this in. Make it more part of the the thing. jumping around a little bit. I was going to do a main and then I just saw this part and I was like, oh, that's just too cool not to use. So we will. And here, the same thing. Okay. We'll do more to it for sure. But um, now we could actually, hmm. Yeah, we will do a main. I was going to say we could not do a main because then we could do it as hair. But I think I kind of want to do it a main. Anyway, although I could do this part. Yeah, we're going to remember that piece, but not yet. Um, trying to just figure out what a good main shape is going to be to play with. I think we'll start with this. And let's do it on its own layer. So we can um, just call it, make it a different material later. Continuous. We're going to start here. No. Stamp straight lines down the center of this thing are hard with.
Okay. Like that. Uh, sure, why not? Now let's use the move tool. Pull it out. Down. Um, kind of give it that like sea dragon look a little bit. Um, I don't know if someone's riding that guy up here, but you know, hey, that's okay. Let's take it to the front. That and down. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Then maybe we will. No. Um. Okay. Back to that layer. Back to white. Like that now. Um, this thing is just playing here. Looks like it could be cool in that layer. Maybe we will make this sort of the same material as the main. So it's got this kind of double fin thing going on there over that. I'm going to do the same thing kind of here. It's like, I don't know what they call it on a horse when it's got hair here. I know there's a word for it. I want to say fetlock, but it's not right, but something like that. Oh, just sort of stretching it, trying to make it feel a little more organic, a little less stampy. Actually do. Couple. Sounds like that. It's kind of neat. Sure. Okay. Alrighty then. Near, 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 near. Um, what else do we want to do? No, I want to do something to his mouth. Um, I don't mind it being kind of this way. I want to make it not quite so just straight up horse shaped so that it's like representative of a horse, but not necessarily. Maybe I'll give it a front mane too. Go back to the. Where is that? Did it not keep that tool? There it is. Okay. No. That. Do I have like angle snap turned on? It's doing something weird. No? I have a weird thing it's adjusting itself. Narrow that in and down. And again, some of those like things like that. We seem to really feel make something aquatic for some reason. I don't really know why. It's like they make it a lionfish. Like, all right, sure. Just pull it up and then push it back in. It's a push pull thing. Mm. 
Oh, actually, I do think I want this to kind of move around so I can all the way there. In. I have elastic. I have elastic turned on. That's why it's being weird. It's like, what's going on? That'll do it. Okay. Sure. There we go. That's kind of neat. I'm going to go back to stay on that layer. This shape. And we're going to shrink. And that's where its gills are going to be. Show enough. And here, so I might even just do the same thing right here on top. Let's go single though. And let's go back to this one in white. Like that. And then, ooh, bad. And like that. I don't know, maybe. Kind of taking a step back every once in a while to look at it. Um, I think I want to give it some like finzy things along there too. Just gonna keep replicating this form because I like it and I think it works. At least on these, we won't have to worry about matching that layer gray. Since it's not run down the center, we just have to worry about keeping it straight. We don't have to worry about being aligned properly. And do that. And push it in. Pull it down. Like that. Yeah. Maybe we want to pull it so it goes out a little bit, not quite so in, so it kind of comes along like that. Sure. Um, say it again. All righty. Now. Okay. You know, honestly, we could be pretty much done if I wanted to be. It has the points. We're going to obviously need to um, call it, um, rig it so that it looks more interesting. Let's pull that out more. The leg is more down like that. Maybe even feel like that. It's kind of weird. Um, I kind of want to have more thickness up here. There. There. I'm just bullshit sculpting in some stuff. Um, and smooth. it there there a little bit more I think I have feel like it's got a bit more unity that's a complete bullshit creature obviously right but hey why not uh, being this way I can kind of adjust scout stamp so I'm not just using it which you know is kind of important to me um 
Sure. Now, um, let's see what happens if I just pull it out there and in there. Just doing some minor tweaking while I've got it. Make that skinnier. Um, do, 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 do. Sometimes these things are shown with like a unicorn horn. Sometimes they're not. I'm good with it either way. I'm going to try something here. Play. Circle. Surface. Continuous. I'm going to get that I thing. Um, just so I'm really trying to work on how eyes connect and give that feeling of roundness. Um, my res is too low, and it needs to be this low because otherwise it won't work um, with the whole horse. Like it won't fit in the box otherwise. The, this is the, the downside of voxels is I have a, a very, I have a limited palette size and you have to respect that. But, um, okay, yeah, I like that. Now, um, do I want to pull that? No. The hell? Oh, it's a whole thing. I was like, what's going on? It's just huge. So there. Sure. That's cool. And I could add fronds along the side of it if I wanted to. I've got the whale tail versus the fish tail. Um, I like that. I think I'm going to do that. Most of the time, it's, it seems to be like they're given like um, frilly fishtails, but I like having the whale. So we'll do it my way. Um, I am going to add... Oh, no, can't do it that way because it's not lined up properly! Um, eh, I was going to say I was going to add some like rear fins, but maybe I won't just because it's going to be a pain in my ass. Lazy! Give it a horn. Yeah, let's give it a horn. Let's do it on its own layer so it's a different material. It's a very small horse. Um, we use our, our trusty rusty horn thing here. Now let's turn off the surface. It's making it a bit oomphier. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, we've we've changed up the the horsey nature. We've kind of gotten rid of its mouth. Um. And I think we're going to have to just accept that without taking it to ZBrush because I'm going to run a, either either I accept it or I do it on its own layer as a different thing. Let's see what happens if we were to cut in here like that. Do it that way. And then new layer. 
chance the wire good. One, two, no, not that layer. This layer, or this layer. Yeah, that's our new one, right? Where is that? Yeah, four is our new one. And we're doing this, that's like 13 increase. Give it some kind of like a, I don't know, let's see if we can fit one of those jaws in there. It'd be kind of cool just to see what it does. The, the pre-built custom ones. I just kind of want it to be a little bit more non-horse-like than it currently is. Um, so right now, it's very much a horse is a horse, of course, of course. You know, with that. And single. Here is a hundred. Bring it in. Line it up. Turn off angle snap. Turn it down. <laughs> no. Down your radius. Yes, I am cackling. Maybe. I don't know. Let me see what it looks like white. Not blue, white. Try to match it and see how we feel about it to the rest of it. It's different. It feels very long now. Um, go back to move. Turn off active layer only. Increase inner radius up a lot. Back in a little bit. That's better. And go to smooth. Okay. Now go back to this one and move tool. Turn back on active layer only, decrease the inner radius. Merge that back in. a bit more natural tie to the feeling. Hmm, I could live with that. Um, I think I could live with that. Now, let's see what happens if we stay on this layer. And clay, go back to our sphere, go back to continuous, and go to surface. And just kind of come. A little white. I think we want to go with the sphere. We're going to go with our. Let's see what happens to this tool. Is this straight up? No, we don't want it straight up. 
I want that round one from before. I just want something that bumps up slightly. So I'm going to grab go up to primitives. I'm going to grab that because this will give it a bump. And then I can It doesn't really work because it doesn't join right. Um, I just have to do it in paint. But I like that. Um, let's turn off surface punch. Get rid of those horse nostril things. All right. Move tool. Pull it up like that. All right. I'm just going to pull that out maybe just a bit. Just want to make it feel like, yeah, that's better. Okay. So now it's got some fishiness to it if you look in the front, which I think is kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> it's also got those like ugly fucking teeth, which are again kind of cool. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try to paint them separately on this one. I think I'm just gonna, um, I'll do it in substance, and just fix them that way versus like ripping them apart and making a different model out of them. Um, feels like overkill. Okay, and back here, like this layer. Play. Give it gills. Okay, some gill action. Um. that in more so it's not quite so bumpy that's better i think yeah let's make it so it's not fat okay um oh my, more got a little warped out this one's a little fat as well I want to have that fishy sort of membranous feel to it, and that's going to make it being a little thinner. Um, okay, haven't saved in a while. Save. <clears throat> I just want a little bit more here. It's just not feeling right to me yet. Mm, this guy. Yeah, sure. Just to give it a little bit more oomph. What layer is this on? No, wrong layer. Fuck you. It's the right place. Now it's the right place. Yeah, it feels more integrated already. Let's curve it out though. This is kind of curved in. Let's go curved out like that. Okay, yeah, I can live with that. That I think is better. Okay, save. 
So let's see how big is this sucker. Export. Eh, 3.8 mil. That's not bad. Textures, 2048. Tangent. Object export. Spring. Paintings. I didn't create a folder yet, so that. Cool. So we'll export this one. We'll export a low res version of him. And then we will take him into substance and get him painted up and masterpiece motion to rig him. And then he should be ready for an illustration. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I, I hope this was interesting and I will be back later. All right. Bye-bye.